Hi everyone. Today we're gonna to be talking about the double chin, the turkey gobbler, and what Grace and I both did differently to try to address that. One of us had amazing results and one of us did not have such amazing results. So we thought that it would be really good to do a comparison. So we'll show you before and afters in just a little bit. So I did Kybella because if you saw our previous video and you saw Coco's Kybella results, she only had three vials and her results were really awesome. So I signed up right away and said, oh yeah, sign me up because I have a gobbler and it's just like, I see photos of me and I wanted it to go away. So Grace and I were talking the other day about some of the procedures that we've done, things we do for our skincare, things we do to try to hold back that aging. Cause let's face it, we will do just about anything to hold back time. We do some crazy stuff, ladies. So I did Kybella. And I did submental liposuction. And I had never heard of that. And when I was researching this, I poured over YouTube and looked for all the videos on options that I could find for procedures. And I wish that I had seen a video like this comparing the two so that I could have made a better choice. Me too. If you look at the before of my neck and look at it now, I had two vials the first procedure and two vials the second procedure. This is the chemical compound that Kybella is. And basically it just dissolves the fat in your turkey gobbler and it's supposed to tighten it up and make it disappear. What was yours? I did a procedure called submental liposuction, which is smart liposuction. They used a cannula, a small empty tube for the liposuction. On the end, it has a laser. They did three incisions, one here and one on each side, here and here. And he puts it in, the laser zaps the fat and then it sucks it out. So it's oh. not like what you've seen in traditional liposuction videos. It's really rough. It's not like that at all. It's very gentle. He just slid it in and then he went all the way here and the same on both sides. And that controlled injury of the cannula and the laser created um, my, triggered my natural collagen to then have the skin suck back up after the fat was removed. Wow. I know. Wow, and mine is just a series of injections. This chemical is injected in and then it dissolves the fat. So are you awake or asleep? I was awake. They went in, they took me into the procedure room. They gave me a small series of shots just to numb. About 10 minutes later, they started the procedure, which took maybe four minutes for That's the doctor. It. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't feel anything. I could feel pressure, but that's it. There was no pain at all, at, at all. Wow. And then about four minutes later, it was all done. They put the alfalfa on me. So here's a picture of when she was immediately finished. And what was your downtime? So I was told that I could go back to work within the first four days. I opted not to. I did take a full seven days off work just okay. because I, I could and I wanted to. I and was, Grace does everything right. When you tell her how to do things, she really does do all of the protocol. All the rules. Now with Kybella, I wasn't given any protocol. Now I was talking to a plastic surgeon that I did not do the Kybella with who told me that it was advised to use the I call them an alfalfa. Yeah, the alfalfa wrap. Like the little rascals. They told me to wear mine for at least three days, 24 hours a day. Okay. I wore it for the first seven days, 24 hours a day. And then the next seven days after that, I only wore it at night when I slept. What was the pain like with yours? Very minimal. In fact, I don't recall feeling any pain per se. There was tightness and I couldn't put my head all the way back at first. Right, me neither. But, but that was it. There was really no pain involved. So was there pain with the Kybella? Yeah, it, feel, it feels like somebody took a hot curling iron after the numbing wears off. Ooh. Feels a little bit like a hot curling iron has been put 
on the area where the injections are. And you know, if you get a bruise and you touch a bruise and it's like, ow, ow, a really bad bruise. And if you move your arm or wherever you have the bruise, you can feel it. That's kind of how it felt for about six or seven days. Here's a photo of Grace's bruising. Oh, and can I tell you? Yes. So the reason my bruising was so minimal, and it was, the doctor said in over thousands of procedures, he has done this particular procedure. He said I was one of the fastest healers he had seen. Oh, okay. I started taking bromeline and uh, Arnica one week prior, and I kept it up for one week after. Okay. So two full weeks. Orally, you took it. Yeah. The one bromelina every day. I don't remember the milligrams. That's okay. And then the Arnica, I took my five little pellets five times a day. Uh, I did Arnica three days prior, and I didn't really do it much after. But I was definitely bruised for quite a long time. And then I have that big puffy turkey gobbler where it's like all the fat, fat is melted <laughs> and you do this, it's really disgusting. Okay, so how did you find this procedure? So I went to Senza Medispa in Redlands. Dr. Leonardo Rossi did the procedure and I was in there one day for Botox and I saw a woman coming out after she had just had something <laughs> done. So they told me about it and I asked about this and I asked about the price. It was $3,500 and I saved for it and made the appointment. And for my Kybella, you can spend between $500 and $675 per vial. I got mine for $500, so I spent $2,000. I wish I would have spent $3,500. I hear that. Okay. So I almost did this same similar procedure five years ago. I had talked to a facial plastic surgeon about it. It was $6,000 at that time. Smart Lipo didn't exist at that time. Oh. So it would have been the really rough kind and I opted not to do it. So one thing I do want to say is that after I had the procedure, I did see a pretty dramatic difference but I also can see these platysmal bands that come down my neck are more prominent now because the fat is gone. Oh yeah. <laughs> but this is what a 50 year old neck looks like. I no, mean, that that's... is not what a 50 year old neck looks like. <laughs> well, this is what my 50 year old neck looks like. So although they are definitely more prominent, I'm okay with that. Oh, that's wonderful. That makes you look thinner. <laughs> I can't see my platysmal bands. <laughs> oh, and also this particular procedure and the results are dependent upon how tight your platysmal bands are. I happen to have a really tight platysmal band that's what goes from here to here and then down the sides. So when I make that face, it's really taut and that depends on your results. So I'm never going to have a really con a really concave jawline because that's just not what my anatomical structure is built like. I'm just never gonna have that. So he took off as much as he could. So that's why these are so prominent right now. But they look fabulous. It makes your neck look thin. It, well, one thing I will say is I am the same weight, actually I'm about six pounds more, now that in my after pictures, I'm a little heavier than in my befores. Wow. But I look thinner because yes. this is gone. When I saw these pictures, I was absolutely blown away I also was really diligent in my manual lymphatic drainage. So every day, twice a day, I would watch my YouTube video, starting up here, working your way down, brisk strokes all the way down, a lot of this on the neck, working it down, all the way to these axillary points, which are lymph nodes, to help get rid of some of that lymph fluid. I did that twice a day, which took uh, four minutes twice okay. a day. I would sit in front of the mirror and quickly watch my video and do it. And I did it for the first 14 days. Oh. This done in January, and they say it takes at least uh, six months before you'll see full results because well, that collagen has to kick in. As we get older, our necks just sink, and this gets more prominent, and it just starts hanging just like everything else. And it makes us look even more heavy than we really are. And when you take photos 
You're constantly having to lift your chin <laughs> because if you don't, you end up with one of those big fat neck pictures. Triple, triple chins. Oh my God. And it's- Well, let me tell you something funny. What? When I was single and I used to pull up next to a cute guy, I would go like this so that he wouldn't see my double see, chin. Yes. I mean, how many ways do we cover our double chin, our turkey gobbler, the big neck? All my friends would say, oh, look at my turkey gobbler. And I wouldn't say anything because I didn't have one and I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to, oh, I don't have one. Brag. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, in what's my, that like? Yeah. But in my head, I thought, I don't have one. Then I got one. Okay. So I really hope that this video helped you. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the poster child for uh, Kybella not working, but it wasn't that great for me. It did work a little, but considering $2,000 versus $3,500, I don't think that her results were double mine. I think they were five times better than my results. Now I feel like I'm probably going to have to save my money and do what you did because your neck looks so amazing. And with anything you do, aftercare is really, really important to the healing. It's important that if you do smoke, don't smoke while you are doing your aftercare, if at all possible. She may have had better results than some, but I have to think that this is probably pretty standard for what she did. And, you know, pretty standard for what I did. I'm sure there's people who have much better results and people who have less results than this. Thank you for letting me share. Oh yes, I'm so yeah. glad you came to share today. This was really inf informative. We're just sharing the journey that we've been on and hopefully it'll give you some information on your own journey. I'm just so happy that she asked me to do this because this is truly the video that I wish I had seen when I was exploring treatments and procedures and options. So thank you for letting me share. Okay, you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Just hit the subscribe button and that little bell so that you can be notified of all our different videos.